Johnny Petito with Petito's Performance Training Center and we're here today to talk to you about hypertension or more commonly known as high blood pressure. All right, but before I get to that, as you can see, I'm still freezing cold. Florida's at like 26 when I woke up this morning or feels like 26 or something like that. And it brought me back to my Philly days. I lived in Philly for, you know, three, four years, freezing my ass off going to school. So, I mean, that was, uh, that was tough back then. It was tough to play baseball in, and it still sucks now, especially when I'm used to 90 degree weather down here. So, but back to hypertension, there's two types. So two types of high blood pressure. You got primary, and primary stands for 90 to 95% of cases, and it happens to be genetic. So. When you're born, you got a big family history of high blood pressure behind you, you're probably at a high risk of having it too. Now, if you only have high blood pressure build up in your arteries for a certain amount of time, and it's a short period, you might be okay because there's no, no short-term side effects. You don't really feel much. But if it becomes a long-term medical condition, you can run, run into a lot of things that can hurt you later in life. You can run into you know, coronary artery disease. You can have a stroke. You can have heart failure. I mean, there's so kidney disease, so many things that can happen that are wrong, and you know you're not going to like because it's detrimental to your health. Now, there's also a secondary, some secondary cases of high blood pressure, but very rare. Only stand for five to ten percent of cases, and you know there's not it. There's all different types of causes, but usually it's from some rare kind of type of medical condition. Or disease. All right. Now, if we're trying to see and make sure that we don't have high blood pressure, we always got to constantly look at it or go to the doctor to get it checked. But we can check it ourselves. You know, a lot of local grocery stores. I know Publix is near me. Some WalMarts have it, where you can stick your hand in, thing tightens up, press the button, and then it shows you all your readings, and you get to see where you're at. So I want to show everybody where you're supposed to be at. Or give you a good idea of where you're supposed to be at anyways. So an average not having high blood pressure where the ranges are supposed to be and they'll give you two readings systolic and diastolic. Systolics will be the higher top number, diastolic will be the lower bottom number you see it in. So yeah A normal would be 100 to 130 milliliters of mercury, whereas a diastolic will be between 60 and 80. That's an average healthy person's blood pressure. Okay, so let's go over here and let's check out average person. Average person with high BP, you'll see 140 over 90. Anything above this, you're in high risk for any one of those diseases we were talking about. Coronary artery disease, stroke, heart failure, all that stuff. If you're looking at these numbers, this being systolic, and this one being diastolic, then you might want to go see your doctor. Okay, because you had a high risk of certain diseases and you need to see what's going on here. And like we said, 90 to 95% is genetic. So, you know, there's two, everybody's thinking, probably sitting here thinking, okay, so if it's genetic, how am I even going to reduce it? I'm, you know, born to get it. So, we are, but there are certain ways, there are a couple ways that we can kind of, you know, eliminate or reduce. You have medication, and I don't really have any room on the board, so I'll just talk to you guys about it. You have medications. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to write big so everybody can see it, so but it's all good. Anyways. <laughs> you have medications. Alright. I'll write it down. Whatever. I want to write it down.
Okay. So, for anybody who can't see this, fix. How we're going to fix our hypertension or lower it, we're going to make, you can have medications or a lifestyle change. So, me being in the business I'm in, in the profession I'm in, and how my life's been, I don't ever want anybody to first go to medications, okay? We always want to work on ourselves first, work on our self-health, because if we don't have that behind us, well, that's how our heart or our blood pressure got that high in the first place. So yeah, medication's like a Band-Aid, but eventually that Band-Aid can only hold so long, so it's not really where you want to be. So let's go ahead and not even make this an option. You know what? Let's wipe it off right off the board, all right? Lifestyle change. This is what we need to focus on, okay? Right here. Lifestyle change. Reduce your sodium. Work on your weight loss. Work on your diet. Incorporate healthy things into your diet. You know, more vegetables, more fruit, more whole foods. Make sure, you know, you're sticking to the plan. And more than anything, make sure you also have physical exercise. Yes, activity is great, but we need to be in the gym, get behind a good program, and really start working hard to keep ourselves and our heart in shape. We can get this hypertension under control, everyone. It's not something, even for seniors who are, you know, 50, 60, even 70, 80. I've trained everyone up through those ages. And you know what? They had high blood pressure when they first came to me. And then guess what? They eventually went back to the doctors because they were feeling weird. And I didn't understand it because it was, you know, kind of the first time I was seeing, oh, I'm feeling weird from working out, a little bit lightheaded, da da da. Okay, go check with your doctor. And come to find out, they were taking medication when they first came to me for the high blood pressure. But they got in such good shape, and their heart got in such good shape, that they, were, they had to get off the medication because the medication were making their blood pressure way too low. So they're getting, they're getting lightheaded, not enough oxygen to the brain, not enough blood pumping around because the medication was slowing it down. So it took them right off the medication, and now they don't even need it, and their blood pressure is fine. So we can make it, we can keep it under control. Just letting you all know. I hope you all enjoy the video. If you have any other questions about hypertension or you're nervous about starting up your workouts or you know your fitness journey or you know how to base your nutrition or how to base your workout programs, anything you need help with with this, please leave a comment on it. Contact me directly either way. If you like the video, leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel. I need more subscribers. I can only give you guys so much long videos. I want to produce more content for you all. So please hit that subscribe button below. My name is Ronnie Petito with Petito's Performance Training Center. And you can visit us at pptcfitness.com. We're located at 4523 Del Prado Boulevard. And you can contact us at 239-470-0338. Until next time.